Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it. Hey, so in today's video, it's almost a question, I guess, of what you guys think. So I've been looking at some engine bits, right, the caps to some of the different fluids and changing those to a blue color. So you can buy those here. I'll show some links to like RPI Designs has some. They're pretty expensive. So I thought, what if I painted one just to see what it looked like and then decide if I wanted to paint the rest. So let's take a look. I'll show you what I used to paint them and then I'll show you in the engine compartment what that one looks like and decide. What do you guys think? Should I paint the rest? Should I bail on it and buy those expensive parts, which right now I don't think I really want to. I've got some other plans on my uh, in my head. So let's take a look. If you get it right the first time, then you know you got it. All right, so as you can see, here is the engine bay. I already did the one cap. As you can see, the coolant cap. I painted that one blue, and I'll show you the product I used and just kind of the simple method. Not that there's any real uh, magic to it. And then you can see to the right the Mishimoto catch can, and you can see I went with the blue hoses on that. I noticed that Mishimoto also has now a hose kit uh, for the coolant parts here uh, to change those to blue. It's pretty expensive, so I don't know if I'll be doing that one anytime soon. But the other caps uh, that I was thinking about doing, uh, the oil cap, uh, brake fluid, the regular washer fluid, would be the other caps that I would be looking at painting blue. So you'd have a couple on this side, and then you'd have a couple on this side with blue caps. Spray painted, not purchased, you know, really inexpensive mod for the most part, especially since I already had the blue paint. So I'll show you now how I did it. So I took the cap off. You can see it, you know, blue color here. Um, I put about, I don't know, four coats on it. I sanded it in between the coats. It's not, a, if you could see it close up, it's not a wonderful job at painting it, but I like it. It gives me that general blue that I was going for inside the engine cover. So all I did was, just created like a little cup with the blue masking tape. Could be any masking tape. I like the blue because it's not as sticky. Just set that in there. I set this in a cardboard box and just sprayed the product around it. So you can see it's really just easy. Take the cup off, you know, put the cup over. So I just kind of made that cup, set it there, and then put coat after coat on it. And then I was able to, you know, make sure I didn't get any gunk that's going to be inside the uh, coolant. So what did I use? Um, probably overkill, but I just used this uh, paint I already had. So that was one of the reasons I used it. It is for uh, engine parts. So you can see it's high temp uh, paint, 500 degrees. Obviously, it shouldn't get 500 degrees inside this engine. But anyway... I used this, I thought this was better than using, you know, a regular paint and, you know, the fact that it's overkill probably is, is just good. So that's the, uh, that's the blue paint that I used. Well, went out to the mail and look what we have, a little uh, thing in the mail from uh, Lethal Camaro. So let's uh, open it up and see what's in it. Anytime you want it, babe, all you gotta do is make it hot. Really awesome. Thank you, Lethal, for uh, creating these for all of us. I don't know if you guys have gone onto his site to see that he's creating some uh, stickers. This one is the carbon fiber one. I have not decided where to put it yet, but anyway, uh, I really like this sticker. I really like the carbon fiber. I don't have a white car, so this will kind of get lost on my uh, black, but uh, I'll find a cool place to put it. Thanks a lot, and uh, if you guys are looking for this, Looks like he's got carbon fiber, white, black, and I saw today a few more colors, blue and uh, red, I think, and uh, there may have been some more that I'm missing, but anyway, check out uh, his uh, page for more info on how to get the stickers, and I'll put a link in uh, my description so you can go there uh, quickly if you don't want to do the searching. 
All right, well that's it. So this is a really inexpensive mod. It just takes some time, some coats, some sanding in between the coats just to make sure that it sticks. For me, this was literally a free mod since I had the paint and I have the tape. For you guys, I think, you know, maybe we're talking 13 bucks and you can spray the pieces uh, yourself. Question is, do I want to keep spraying them or do I not? I think I do. I think I want to keep going with it. So I'll have to find some time when the engine's not hot and not in use, right? And uh, I can let it sit and let those parts dry for a while. So once I have that time, I'll finish this job off, spray the rest of those uh, pieces, and then you can take another look and, you know, worst case I figured I could just buy those expensive parts if I don't like the way this turns out. Hopefully that's not the case because I don't want to spend my money on that. I'd like to spend my money on some different mods for the car. Hey, I just, I can't say thank you enough. Such great support. We're now at 270 subscribers. That's amazing. I don't know how many of you guys have YouTube channels, but I like looking at the geography and seeing all the different countries uh, that we have subscribers for. That's actually growing too. We've added some additional countries that are watching the videos. <laughs> That's just too cool. I don't know. I always like geography, so seeing people from different countries watching videos that we're making here in Southern California, just as cool. Thank you guys so much. Keep liking, keep subscribing, and keep modding.